Hi everyone, Jason from Makera here with another Makera Cam tutorial. And in this one, we are talking about creating laser image processing paths. Laser image processing paths allow you to utilize the built-in laser engraving module on the Carvera desktop CNC, as well as the optional laser engraving module for the Carvera Air to engrave images in various types of stock. To start, we need to import an image file, such as a JPEG, PNG, or bitmap file into Makera Cam. And after importing this image file, you'll see that a new layer is created with the image, which we can set to be our active layer. I can then use our transform tools to move and scale this image and position it where I'd like it to be on our stock. With your image prepared, we can then create a new laser image processing path. Here you can adjust the speed and power based on the material that you are using, and you can find recommended material settings on the speeds and feeds page of our wiki site. It's important to identify that not every material is compatible with laser engraving and laser cutting. Many materials like synthetic leather or PVC based plastics would actually release harmful fumes if they were in fact cut or engraved with the laser. For those materials, you can of course take advantage of your built in spindle for your CNC mills and choose to use safe materials for laser engraving only. So after adjusting the speed and power, we can choose to adjust the engraving direction as well as whether it's bi-directional. We can also adjust the line interval, which impacts the overall resolution of our engraving. From there, we can calculate and see a preview of what the engraved image would be. Now, all images, of course, would be grayscale when creating these engravings, and darker parts of the image would be engraved with more power than the lighter parts, which is how we get the image on our stock. But you might find after previewing that some detail is lost. I'm going to delete this path and then choose to adjust the image using the basic adjustment tools built into Makera Cam. Here, I can adjust the brightness as well as adjust the contrast and even the gamma, which should allow me to optimize my engraving result based on what I'm looking to get out of my image and my stock. Now, after making some basic adjustments, I really prefer the detail I have around the eyes here, as well as the other detail that has been gained around the face of this dog. And I can go ahead and engrave that using my Carvera. Whenever you use the laser engraving module, you always wanna ensure that you're using protective eyewear or a laser protective cover, as well as you're engraving in a well-ventilated space. You can also take advantage of both the laser engraving modules and the built-in spindle of your desktop CNC's to create a versatile project with both manufacturing techniques. For example, I've imported an outline for this dog and I can use this outline to create a contour toolpath. After adding tabs along this contour toolpath, I can calculate it and we can see that what the machine will do is actually cut the stock using the spindle and engrave the surface of the stock using the laser engraving module. Now the order that you perform these different operations can vary based on your material, but typically you would wanna cut your stock prior to engraving so that way dust and the movement of the tool head doesn't affect the image being engraved. But in between cutting the stock and starting your engraving, it's crucial that you clean the work area as any dust from the cutting process could become a potential fire hazard during the engraving process. You also wanna prepare the machine differently for the different operations. For example, using the dust shoe and built-in vacuum when cutting this wood stock and then removing the dust shoe and enabling the air assist module for when engraving the wood stock would be key. You should also always keep the laser engraving lens covered during milling operations and remember to remove the cover during laser engraving operations. Because of this, I would always recommend that you save your engraving toolpath and your contour toolpath separately and run these jobs separately, even though it's a single project, just to ensure that the machine and safety parameters can be prepared correctly in between the different jobs. Additionally, you should never leave the laser unattended and always perform tests before starting a big project. So the laser image toolpath operation allows you to make really unique projects by engraving images off a range of stocks using the laser engraving module, while also having the opportunity to combine these types of projects with the spindle as well. In another video, we talk about the laser vector operation, which allows us to both cut and engrave different materials based on vector images instead of raster images.